So I'm starting out by using this brow pomade. And I got this from Walmart. It's called Done in One Brow Pomade, dark brown. I switch up my pomades though. Like sometimes I use Anastasia or just any local drugstore one. But this one was cute and it was cheap. I brush my brows up a little bit. I'm gonna use this Morphe Brow Angled Brush. I'm not really sure the number of the brush because I got it a while ago and the numbers faded. So I'm just gonna dip it inside. And I like to start with the middle of my brows. I don't like to start from the beginning because let me get too square. And for the beginning, always brush up. It's very important to brush up. Don't like keep the way I'm coloring here, don't do that for the front because it's gonna make your brows look really square. I'm gonna brush it up more. And I think, like, it's very important to brush it up, of course. But for the beginning, like, you want to have a little bit, just a little bit of a faded look. Like, you don't want it to be too much to where your fade is all the way right here and then the brow starts after. Not too much. It's supposed to look natural, but in the front. So you just brush up your hairs. Now I'm using my LA Girl Concealer, and I'm going to take my... Morphe, what is this called? Concealer flat brush. I'm not that good with brushes, but I know this is a concealer brush. So I'm taking my Morphe concealer flat brush. I also don't know what number this is because I did have it for a long time. Okay, so this is the closest I'm gonna get to them twinning. Okay, this is the closest, but you can keep your brows like this if you want, but I'm not gonna keep my brows like this. So I used to use concealer for the top of my eyebrows, but I realized that I don't really like it that much because I don't want it to see that one line just sitting over my brows and then I have foundation. So I'm gonna use my Fit Me foundation. To conceal the top of my brows so that way it blends better. Thank you. 